Sirens blare through the West Bank city of Janine as Israeli security forces carried out a daytime raid, arresting three Palestinians allegedly planning an attack in the immediate future. Six Palestinians were injured in an exchange of gunfire, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The raid follows a terrorist attack earlier in the day where a gunman shot two Israelis in their car in East Jerusalem both taken to the hospital in moderate condition. A 48-year-old man has arrived at Mount Scopus Hospital's intensive care unit this morning, injured from a gunshot wound in the left part of his chest. Thankfully, his condition is stable, and he is now classified as moderate. Meanwhile, the terrorists fled the scene, leaving behind a Carlo improvised submachine gun and instigating an active manhunt throughout the area. We were notified about the incident, and immediately we sent troops from the Jerusalem District Police, Border Police, and the Sheen Bet. We found the gun with which he carried out the attack, and another item that allegedly belonged to the terrorist. This attack happened less than a day after a Palestinian woman stabbed an Israeli man at the Gush Etzion Junction in the West Bank. The man was treated for moderate injuries, while the woman was shot by security forces and taken to the hospital in moderate condition. All of this occurring during the historically tense month of Ramadan, which comes to an end on Friday. But with Israeli Independence Day approaching next week, many fear the ongoing wave of terror will continue.